What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. These are another pair of Adler football boots. These are the Adler Yamatokyo, which is their synthetic model based on the Yadagarasu, which is one of my favorite of their four silos. Let's hop into the unboxing. So very typical, typical for the Adler brand. They've got a beautiful unboxing unboxing experience. Wow, I really can't speak today. Uh, you've got the Adler logo here on the top, a larger Adler logo on one of the sides, their brand logo here, and then the Adler colors, nothing on the bottom, and then there's your sizing. So I did decide to go for a US 8. I found that with the Yadagarasu and the Horenzo going a full size down from my usual size nine is the best. These are in the red colorway because I want to get all four in the same color. And then this is a Euro 40.5 and a Japan 26. So the Adler Yamatokyo, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know down in the comment section below, please. Um, Andrew Lockhart asking you for a favor, for a friend. Thank you, sir. Okay, opening up. Oh my goodness. So here we go again with the unbelievable unboxing experience. So this is a little note that comes with all the Adler products. You've got the branding there. And then this is a little note that basically says, thank you so much for your, uh, for your order. Enjoy the Adler products, all that stuff. I'll see if I can put a little translation on screen as well. And then inside the boot comes the real line uh, insole. So that's super cool. This is a second pair of insoles that you get for the all of the Adler products. This is a great example. I talked about this in the Yadagarasu review, but this is a great example of all the little details that Adler has done to partner with other brands to give this boot a very elevated feeling. The Carvo insert, uh, the, the way that the Itogo laces come into the picture, the real line insole, all that stuff is super, super nice. So you get that really nice and supportive insoles there. And then a beautiful bag and just absolutely sensational. I'm not gonna do an unboxing of this one just because I've done, I've, I've opened so many Adler bags before, uh, but it is a beautiful canvas bag, super high quality. You get the Adler logo down on the side on the inside. You can't see that Adler logo, unfortunately, right here. Um, and then this little made in Japan deal as well with the uh, website and all that stuff. The link, the first link down in the description box below will be the Adler website for those of you who are interested in purchasing some. Um, I know a lot of people have had some, some issues with trying to find the website. Uh, Google, if you have Google Chrome, my Google Chrome translates the whole website. So I'm actually able to get uh, all the information I need and order the particular pieces and parts. Although the Adler team has been awesome. I've talked to them on Instagram a couple times and they're just sensational. So here we go with the unboxing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. All right. So this is the Yamatokyo, which looks almost identical to the Yadagarasu. I actually have the Yadagarasu with me right now. So I'm going to put it side by side and you can see the difference between the synthetic and the leather model for obvious reasons, right? You can see the quality difference, but the design language, all of the stitching, everything is basically the exact same on either. So this is just essentially the synthetic version of the Yadagarasu, which is pretty cool for those of you who want a little bit of extra durability and all that stuff. I'm actually gonna take these, um, these tags off as we talk a little bit about why this boot exists and what I think this boot does well for the Adler brand. So there you go, there's a, you can really feel the difference. I'm gonna take this uh, little cardboard deal out as well. Um, still pretty soft though for a synthetic leather. So this is a fully synthetic leather. It is lightweight and durable, which is super nice. I think that's what they were going for with this model. They wanted a model that fit sort of their flagship uh, did the exact same thing as far as de design cues and everything. The same feeling on the inside as well of that original model. Same sole plate. Oh, hello. Same sole plate, same everything, but with the, the durability and the lightweightness of that synthetic upper. One of the interesting things about this football boot that I think a lot of people kind of will overlook is the fact that this is still a handmade product. So it's still handcrafted, made in Japan, all that stuff which for a synthetic football boot is really rare. You hardly ever see the handcraftedness with a synthetic leather. Usually it's a premium kangaroo leather that's you know made in Montebelluna for the Nike products and the Diodora products. Potentially it's you know made in Japan for the Mizuno. It's handcrafted and it's leather and all that stuff. But most synthetic models are just made in factories, right? So 
to have a synthetic model that's handcrafted, hand-stitched the whole nine yards, that's pretty freaking cool. And I love the way that they've executed this as well. So as I said before, this is basically a recreation of the Yadagarasu, but just with the synthetic upper. So let's get this other one out as well. And we'll talk about the little bit more, um, actually, let's throw this down on the floor. Okay, boom, there we go. So again, very, very similar design features. You've got the regular Adler insoles there, which are a double layer, super, uh, uh, obviously they're pretty flimsy, but you've got a really nice harder foam and then you've got this soft mesh kind of material there. Hopefully that'll focus right on the edge double layer. And then one of the main qualities of the Yamatokyo in the same way that um, they've got it on the Yadagarasu as well, is this full, full plate of synthetic carbon weave in the, in this, uh, in this Carvo insert. There you go. So you've got the Carvo insert you can see. We'll hop into uh, an inside look at what this football boot looks like in just a little bit, but that is, you can see the opening gets quite wide there. Really, really nice. And it does allow you to have some pretty significant snapback uh, in the forefoot and the midfoot area. This one feels a little bit less structured than the Yadagarasu. I don't know if that's like just the way this boot is constructed or what, um, but they do feel a little bit more Horenzo-like in the way that they pivot and bend, which does give a nice and barefoot feeling underfoot for this particular model, I would imagine, similar to the Horenzo and how that works out as well. So this is Mainly, so let's talk about why this exists. So the reason the Yama Tokyo exists is, at least in Adler's words, to be their all-weather football boot. So this is meant to be, you know, on a rainy day, you've got a pair of these, you've got a pair of Yadagarasus, and on most days you're going to wear Yadagarasus for that premium kangaroo leather feel, but on occasion when it is pissing rain or it's doing something crazy with the weather, like snowing or whatever, you can wear the synthetic model and actually get supposedly a pretty decent amount of weather resistance with this synthetic upper. Now, looking at both football boots, again, in this hand is the Yadagarasu. You can see the kind of the shine of the premium leather. And then this is the Yamatokyo with the synthetic leather. They're basically identical, but they're gonna probably feel a little bit different. I imagine that the Yamatokyo is gonna be a little bit thicker just in the way that it feels because it is synthetic, it's gonna feel a little bit stiffer. But I imagine that as this boot gets broken in and stuff, it's actually gonna be a really great package for a lot of people who play in wet weather conditions. Those of you who live in the Northwest of America, who live in England, who live in Denmark, lots of places that kind of tend to get just a consistent sprinkle of rain most times in the year. These might be a fantastic option for you if you don't want to get fully leather football boots that are going to take forever to dry out and all that stuff. So if you're looking for both pairs, you can find both pairs on their website. And the crazy part about Adler products is that they are really not as expensive as you'd think. So the Yadagarasu comes in at like 160 US dollars, 160 dollars. This is half the price of the Morelia competitor to this. And I would argue in some ways this boot is even better. Now you get this one, which is like 130 bucks, and it's a synthetic leather, but it's built on the same, with the same quality, the craftsmanship and everything that comes with uh, a Made in Japan Adler product, which is just ridiculous. Like more people need to buy this football boot. Uh, we'll see how it fits, obviously, when we get to the on-feet portion of the video, uh, but I'm very excited about this pair of football boots. So without further ado, let's hop into the inside the boot camera and we'll talk a little bit about some of the technology, the Carvo insert. You guys will get a really nice uh, set of B-roll for the, the Carvo on the inside. And then we'll talk about some of the liners and stuff that they've put in there to make this boot just enhanced in those little detailed ways. And then we'll hop into the on-feet portion of the video right after that. Let's hop into it. All right, fam, here we are with the overhead probe lens with the Yama Tokyo. These are the synthetic version of the Yadagarasu, which you guys have probably seen several reviews of by now. Here's a couple nice details for you guys. So here are those special Itogo laces, really nice braided material, and they do have kind of a 
almost like a sandpapery feel to them without being overly aggressive. But as you tie those laces tight, they do have a super nice feeling to them. So that's the, uh, that's the special braided material. And then on the inside, so nice detailing there with the stitching with the Adler. So on the inside of the tongue uh, is a company called Cambrel that makes this breathable mesh material. And you can see how it's stitched to the underside of the tongue. And this material actually features on the inside, kind of on this area of the Horenzo. And then it's on the tongue of this one, the Yadagarasu and the Horenzo. So that's a nice breathable mesh material that gives your foot the ability to kind of, um, it, it sort of regulates the temperature inside the boot, which actually is is a bit noticeable, I would say, especially on the Horenzo because it's it features on the inside of the entire boot, uh, but we'll get into that and into this one in just a second there. So let's actually take this out. So this is the normal um, insert there. So actually I'll turn it around so you guys can see the Adler brand. And then you can see how the thickness of it is that sort of, it's like that mesh material and then sort of a like a little bit of a harder material there on the bottom and then as we pull it out, you can see that texturing, the uh, embossed logo there, um, or I guess it's like a more a stuck on logo there. And then as we pull it out, you'll see the beautiful Carvo insert there. So the heel area is really nothing to write home about as far as special technology. It's just a microfiber material here, a bit of a padding there on the top. You can see kind of a, a a padding there right on the top of the ankle. That's not gonna provide any sort of extra lockdown. It's more just gonna be uh, the boot's ability to essentially um, give you nice padding as you pull the laces tight and it sort of wraps your ankle. It'll just be a nice sensation of padding there, uh, but the external heel counter is super nice. You can see as we move into the boot, you can see the quality of the stitching of the Carvo insert to the sole plate. So you can see the external stitching there as well. Nice little detailed logo in the back. And then as we move into the football boot, we'll go straight down first. There you go. You can see that Carvo insert, such a cool looking material. I'm just such a huge fan of the carbon fiber look, whether it's this Carvo, Carvo plate or an actual carbon fiber look. Um, and then you can see how the material splits. So the Carvo is stitched onto on the bottom here. This white material here on the left, or on the bottom, I guess, from your perspective, this, uh, the inside, which is just a really thin synthetic mesh material. You can see that, uh, that mesh there. And then it's stitched into the sole plate and then the Carvo is stitched on top of it which is really nice. And then the detail as you move in, I think this looks quite beautiful actually. So if we take the tongue off a little bit, kind of fold it down, look at how gorgeous the inside of this boot looks. So as we move into the boot, you can see the consistency of the stitches, very gorgeous, obviously handcrafted. And we get to the uh, right into the toe area there. You can see the consistency of those stitches, especially on the inside of the football boot as well. Just a gorgeous look on that inside. So lovely. And then all it has from a tag perspective is this little tag that says eight US on the inside, <coughs> excuse me, which is pretty cool. But yeah, really nice pattern on the inside. Just a gorgeous piece of artwork, honestly. And I'm really excited to see the uh, how this synthetic material holds up. So it does actually have kind of the grain of a leather football boot. It does kind of have the graininess of that. The stitching is obviously really, really nice. And then as we move into the tongue area, lovely. So there's that difference between the really thin Cambrel material. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but that you can see where the synthetic leather and the Cambrel kind of comes together in that stitching pattern on either side. So very, very cool, lovely pair of football boots, an absolute piece of art on the inside with that lovely Carbo insert. Let's hop into the on-feet portion of the video and compare these to the Yadagarasu and see what the synthetic leather from Adler is all about.
All right, fam, out here at the pitch with the Adler Yama Tokyos. These are the synthetic version. Everything else is basically the same as the Yadagarasu. These just are uh, the synthetic leather version, uh, but same design, same stitching pattern, same build quality, all that stuff. Uh, the one thing that I'm very excited for is to see how the synthetic leather compares. Oh, focus, please. Thank you. Uh, how this leather compares or synthetic leather compares to some of the other synthetic leathers on the market. It definitely feels pretty soft straight out of the box, um, but let's get them on feet and I'll show you guys and we'll get a good impression of what these are like. All right, here we go. So straight in. Oh, very nice. Okay, so immediately there is a lid, I would say they are slightly stiffer than the Yadagarasu. The Yadagarasu is a boot that I think probably is top five, top three most comfortable boots for anybody straight out of the box. I genuinely think they are incredible um, as far as like trying them on. These ones are close. The shape of this boot fits my foot really well. The shape of the Yadagarasu and the shape of the Yamatokyo fit my foot really well and this is uh we're doing runners not runners loop by the way just to get a little bit more customized fit and we'll lock those in with the itogo laces honestly these are really impressive i'm just going to do a single knot there uh super impressive for a synthetic leather i would say that things like hybrid touch things like uh the some of the nike stuff that's come out in, in previous generations, I think is uh, both, all those are really good. Uh, I would say that the build quality and just the feel of these football boots really is fantastic though. I think, again, the addition of that Carvo insert and the way that these look and feel um, on feet is super nice and customizable. And I love how uh, right away they are molding to my foot, which is a huge deal for um, those of us who have uh, wider foot types especially. So, oh, can you focus? Thank you. So let's get this other one on feet as well. We're gonna do the runner's knot on this side also just because it gives me the best possible fit. Again, up through the first one, down through the second one, and then crisscross into the loops that you've just created and then do your normal whatever single knot double knot whatever you do with the itogo laces honestly you could probably single knot and you'd be just fine because they are mega sticky and uh like i can do that and leave them and they're they're pretty secure which is pretty amazing so all right here we go get these knotted up single knot and there we go the Adler Yamatokyos. I can see why this would be such a valuable uh, or a popular value proposition. That's how I would say it, maybe. Uh, a popular value proposition for the Adler brand because for, for any sort of situation where you've got tons of rain and you really want to do uh, you want to still have the same consistent feel. You want the boot to basically feel the same, but just be a little bit more robust in crazy weather conditions. Honestly, having an all leather football boot and then having a really nice uh, synthetic leather football boot that is the exact same construction makes buying both a very easy solution to, I think, a lot of... Um, a lot of weather conditions, which is awesome. So here's what they look like on feet. Uh, as you guys have seen from the Yadagarasu review that probably came out now a week or so ago, these are, they look exactly the same until you get really close and can actually see the differences in the natural K leather versus the synthetic leather material that they're using here. But as far as fit, as far as feel, as far as weight, the only thing that is slightly different is I would say that these feel a little bit more secure. They're not as like plushly soft and just like absolute clouds and slippers on your feet. These feel like a pair of really well-made football boots. And for me, that's kind of sick. Like that's, that's pretty cool. And they feel, they don't feel stiff, but they feel uh, very secure in all the right areas of my foot. Touch on the ball is super similar to uh, the Yadagarasu. I would just say again, you're dealing with a synthetic, so it's a little bit less connected by like, you know, a percentage point or two compared to the Yadagarasu, uh, but you still have a really nice seamless touch on the ball. There's gonna be no distractions because that synthetic leather material wraps your foot 
a uh, hundred, like it's a hundred percent of the football boot and there's no grip elements. There's no, you know, kind of distractions. There's no BS. And as you can see, it's literally wrapping every little crevice in my foot shape. And I think for those of you who have kind of awkwardly shaped feet, but want a synthetic leather football boot that also does a really nice job of kind of digging into the ground with this sole plate, no, no issues, obviously, from a traction perspective on AGFG or SG. I think these are going to be a massive, massive deal for you guys. So honestly, I would recommend checking these out if you're, if you want to go the Adler route, you want to go kind of a niche micro brand, or I guess they're not micro, but uh, a much smaller brand. You get the craftsmanship of a made in like handmade stuff but with a synthetic upper, which is really, really interesting. Like that combo never really happens. And so to have a boot like this, uh, for me having both a Yadagarasu and a Yama Tokyo, and to be able to have both of those boots bring both to a session, they feel basically identical. But if I'm like, oh, it's kind of raining, so I want the same fit and feel and comfort and performance, but I don't want, uh, for them to get sloppy at all or for the K leather to get overstretched, I'm gonna wear these and it'll be perfectly fine. So for me, this value proposition for this football boot is sensational, honestly. Like it's it's such a good idea for them to just go, okay, what's our bet what what is what do we think our best boot is? Yadagrasu is probably our our best overall package. I'm putting my opinion on them. That's our overall best package. Let's just make a synthetic leather handcrafted made version of that same football boot for those people who want a little bit more robustness uh, in a synthetic boot. It's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. It's pretty fantastic. So I don't know, if you're, if you're a hoe for football boots like me, buy both, get both of them in a size down. They both fit the exact same. Um, again, you're gonna have a little bit more kind of robust feeling in, Again, it's not stiff, but it's a little bit more solid feeling in these than you will in the Yadagarasu. And then you slide into the Yadagarasu and it's like wearing a pair of slippers that are made perfectly for your feet. So if you guys don't, can't tell already, I'm a huge fan of the Adler products. Um, I will leave the Yadagarasu review right here for you guys in red. So it'll be essentially the same look, the same color. I literally just got done with that review. So I'm wearing the exact same thing. So you can kind of compare side by side, but as you can see from those up close shots, they look almost indistinguishable other than the natural leather being a little more shiny, I guess, and a little more plush looking and then from a wiggling my toes standpoint, it's a little less noticeable on these ones, but really that's it as a comparison. So that's that review right there. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.